Hello from Greece. The Greek government debt crisis had been a milestone for the Greek economy. More than 400,000 people emigrated, a brain drain unseen for decades in Greece. Moreover, many small and medium enterprises, which are the majority of the economic actors in Greece and employing most of the working population, closed for either financial reasons or retirement of their owner. Meanwhile, many alternative, formal and informal economic and political spaces prefigurated democratic ways to meet collectively local needs. Thus, a new wave of social solidarity economy began to emerge. Is this a unique Greek experience and what happens since then? Social solidarity economy has been steadily gaining recognition as another meaningful, desirable and feasible economic model. This is shown by recent relevant resolutions by UN and ILO and the adoption of the Social Economy Action Plan by European Commission. Parallel in Greece, relevant laws and national strategy have been adopted in the previous decade. However, even if the previous strategy had only been limitedly and partially implemented and had not been evaluated, a new national strategy for social solidarity economy has been designed due to the adoption of the EU Social Economy Action Plan. Unfortunately, this strategy understands social solidarity economy mostly as a way to fight unemployment for disadvantaged and vulnerable groups and young people. Yet, social solidarity economy can be a key ingredient in processes of socio-ecological transformation and the new national strategy a potential tool of implementation. Firstly, it can provide a counter vision to the dominant discourse around economic growth based on direct foreign investment by providing a broad vision for developmental alternatives or even alternatives to development which are based on place based solutions which cover economic, social and environmental needs. Secondly, a common institutional identity and relevant aggregated data sets are needed in order to overcome the fragmentation of Greek cooperative law and the fragmented oversight of different regulatory authorities. Thirdly, local and thematic ecosystems are potentially policy makers along with local authorities in the co-creation, co-implementation and co-evaluation of public policies on municipal and prefectural level. These transformative public policies should focus not only on financing but also on a place-based approach on mentoring, training, intercooperation, construction of new narratives and creation of common facilities and resources. The seeds of social solidarity economy are being planted for over a decade in Greece despite a non-enabling external environment. Thus, the role of public authorities should be to cooperate with local and thematic social solidarity economy ecosystems in order to fertilize the soil on which the seeds have already been sprouting.